Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to add hamburger menu in WordPress. So let's begin. All right. So to add the hamburger menu in the WordPress, first of all, what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here we have to search for two plugins. The first one is full screen menu for Elementor. So let's install this and click on activate. All right. So now we have to install another plugin, which is Elementor Header and Footer Builder. All right. So as you can see here, we have our plugin at the top of the search. So we have to install Elementor Header and Footer Builder. So let's click on install now. Let's click on activate. Perfect. Okay. So now what we have to do, we have to refresh the page first. Now we have to go inside Elementor Header and Footer Builder. So we have to click on add new. All right. So let's add the title of hamburger menu header. Okay. So first of all, what we have to do, I have to select the template and all right. So this would be entire website and here it will be all perfect. So now let's click on publish. And now we have to click on edit with Elementor. All right, so now we have to design our header, which will have our hamburger menu. So let's click on add new container. That would be the flex box. And I would go here with a two column structure and let's just change the content width to the full width. Perfect. So the first container, I would actually add the logo. All right, so we have to drag and drop the image here. Let's just choose the image. All right, so upload this image. Just click on select and now I have to decrease the size of the image here. So let's change the width here. All right. So I think this will look perfect. And now I have to put this onto the left side. Perfect. All right. So now what we have to do, we actually have to add our hamburger menu. So let's click on add element and search for full screen menu. So let's drag this and put this here into a second column. And now you will be able to see our hamburger menu. Okay. So here you can see that we have the content type that is basically the menu. And after this, we have to select the menu here. So I'm going to go here with the main menu. Now let's click on style. So in this style, I think I would go here with the black color and then we can align this to the left side and also in the center. But I think I would go here with the right side. Also, we have the size of it. So if you want to change the size of it, you can simply do this from here. But I will go here with the default value. And after that, we have the space. So if you want to increase the space or decrease the space, you can do this from here. Okay. So I think I would go here with the 10 px maybe. And we also have the thickness. So if I wanted to increase the thickness, I can do this from here. So I think I would like to increase the thickness. This is looking better, but let's just add some space now. All right, so now this is looking better. All right, so after this, we have the overlay and we have the text. So if I click on the text, you will be able to see that in the text, we have the text color, we have the background color, we have the typography and we have the text alignment. And in the overlay, we basically have the background color and the padding. All right, so if you don't know about the overlay, that what is the overlay and how does it work, it's pretty simple. Uh, so whenever you click on your hamburger, you will be able to see your menu here. Okay. Now, if you wanted to have the background color on your menu here, that would be your overlay. So if I just click here onto the classic and add any color here. So let's go here with any color. So I'm going to go here with the red color or maybe the blue color or any color of your choice. Okay. So I'm going to go here with the red color maybe, or we can go here with the yellow color, something like this. Okay. So now you can see here, this is the overlay of our hamburger menu. Okay. So now this is how it's going to work. So if you wanted to add the image, you can also add the image here as well. And you also have the padding. So if you wanted to add the padding values, you can also do this. And after this, we have the text. Now, if I just click on the text color here and change the color here of the text, you will be also able to see the change in color of the text in our menu items. Okay. So I'm going to go here with the black color because that is looking good. And we also have the typography here and we also have the text align. So if you want to align this to the right side or to the left side or to the center, you can simply do this from here. 
and after that you have the advanced settings here all right so now we're going to make this responsive on our mobile devices so let's close this and first of all i have to decrease the size of our logo here all right so i think this will work fine right now all right so now let's just make this responsive on our tablet size so let's click on this all right so i think this is already responsive here what i need to do i actually have to change the size of our logo here so let's click on our logo and now we have to go into the style let's just change the width of it all right so i think this is looking good yeah this is looking perfect and now this is looking responsive on our tablet portrait okay so now we're going to go back to our desktop version and now let's just make this responsive on our mobile portrait okay so you will be able to see now our image is coming at the top and after that we have our hamburger menu okay so now what i have to do here first of all i'm going to click on my image so let's change this to the percent 50 percent all right so now you'll be able to see that we are having the 50 percent width on our image similarly we're going to do the same thing with our hamburger menu so let's change this to 50 percentage all right so now you'll be able to see our logo and the hamburger on the same line so now i have to increase the size of the image here so this would be 100 percent not exactly the 100 percent so i'm going to decrease this to let's say i think i would go here with 30 percent and one thing i would do here i would click on our main container and here i'll just align the items to the center now this is looking good all right so now if i just click on the hamburger here you will be able to see our menu options here and this is how we can create the hamburger in the wordpress so now let's just publish this and let's just have a look at our page you will be able to see our logo and the hamburger here so if i just click here you will be able to see the menu here okay so let's just remove this url from here so that we can go back to our website and this is where you're going to get to see our hamburger menu and this is how it is working if i just change this to the mobile version and if i just click on the hamburger and you can see here our hamburger menu is also responsive all right so now let's close this and let's click here and this is how you can add the hamburger menu in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel